Hey guys, it's Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a alert. So what we do, we go straight to Xcode, File, New Project. Make sure it's a view based application for the iPhone and we're going to simply name this alert. Now we just make it a bit bigger so it's easier to see. Go straight to our classes and we're going to create an IB action button. So straight to the dot H and we're going to place in IB action and we'll name the action button alert. Nice and simple. And then it reverse that make on. Save that and straight to the view controller dot M and we start by writing the code. So IB action and we named it alert now space now we start by with a curly bracket enter UI alert view star alert space the equal sign and two brackets U, UI alert view again space alloc and then that with a bracket now we're going to place in the title of our alert which we start by putting in it with title here we go now the this one highlighted here the NS string title bit here this will be obviously what we, the title is going to be so we put the at symbol then quotation mark and we'll simply name this title so you know where it's appearing and nice and simple to understand and that with a quotation mark now in the message bit here, click on it so it highlights and the inner string. We're going to simply put this is the message and that ray quotation mark. So you know where the message is appearing, so it's nice and simple. And straight into the um, the delegate ID, we can simply put nil. Now the cancel button, this is obviously going to be the button where you want to press to cancel the alert. We'll just simply put dismiss. Oh, we forgot to put the um, at sign and the quotation mark. Dismiss, now we scroll along. Now, other button titles, we're going to want to put, because we don't know what other buttons at the moment, we'll just put nil. Oh. And at the end of nil here, we're going to want to put a bracket and end it with a semicolon and press enter. Now the third line we need to do alert show bracket semicolon. And then this one here, the fourth line, alert release bracket semicolon. Now enter and we end it with a curly bracket and we simply save that and then we want to go to the resources file and double click on the alert view nib file so we can place in our button to allow us to show up a alert Now this is a loaded, so we simply want to put in a round rect button. And what we're going to do to make it more alerty, as I would say it, we can put an info light or an info dark. Now seeing as the background's grey, I'm not too sure the light will show up well, so I'm just simply going to put an info dark to so the button, you know, stands out and looks a bit alerty. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we go to files owner and we want to drag the alert to the round rec button which is now a dark info button and we're going to put touch up inside nice and simple we save that and quit it and um, make sure it's on simulator yes and then we're going to go build and run there should be no problems hopefully anyway if there is just, it's easy to rectify and once this loads we're simply going to click on the button and it should uh, load up our alert Mm -hmm. 
Okay, then here we go. So we simply click on the info button, and there it appears. Now, if you look clearly here, the title here, which we named here, in it with title title, appears up here. Then a message there. This is the message has appeared in the message box here. This is the message, and our cancel button title and we named it dismiss, and there we go dismiss, which we simply press, and it disappears. So just to show you again, info button, and the alert appears up. This is quite useful for if you want to quickly um, just tell people a little bit of information. It's nice and simple, and dismiss to get rid of it. So thanks for watching, guys. Simply um, comment, rate, subscribe as usual. And um, if you want, send me a message to, well, to suggest some tu tutorials or comment on my um, profile page. But in the meantime, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.